Hello everyone, we are Dark Dimensions Hive House and today we're going to be making some cheap and easy mask stands. You can see these right here. A lot of people, they'll go the cheap route, they'll go this whole paper towel and they'll just use that as a mask stand. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's bad. So, came up with these and I think they look really neat. Alright, so the stuff we're going to use is we have this right here, the Goosebumps, the Trick or Treat Studios. Halloween mask, the haunted mask. So I got this right here. I'm gonna clean it up. I got a sander. I got some dowel rods right there. I'm gonna use some glue, and I got these little styrofoam half balls. Uh, I got those at uh, Hobby Lobby. Use some primer and some purple paint to go with that goosebumps color. All right, so I marked the middle right there these dowel rods. It's saying that they're 0.75, so I got a 3 fourths focus right there, bit. So I'm just gonna put that right there in the middle. And right, I got some Gorilla Glue, I'm gonna add a little bit right there. Use this little popsicle stick. This stuff expands, so you don't really need that much. And now that you put the glue on there, you got a little triangle right here. So you can see if it's, uh, do all the different sides right there so you get it flush. All right, on this stand right here, since I'm doing Goosebumps, I had a decal made, the, the Goosebumps, so I'm gonna put that on there. Say you're doing another mask, like maybe you're doing Halloween, Michael Myers, you could paint it black. A lot of people will get these, they'll get these little fall leaves and they'll glue them on there. You could do all kinds of stuff. If it's a uh, child's play, you could put some letter blocks or the good guy doll batteries. But on this one, I'm going with goosebumps and doing purple and the lime green. Beware, you're in for a scare. Looks lovely. All right, so I painted it right here. I did have to add this right here. Word of advice, whenever you're making it and you want to get the, the height, go and hold it up to it right, right there because I didn't want it to be too low. So I added probably about like four inches right there so it'll be a little bit higher. So the next step is we're going to use this foam right here. Put a little bit of hole right there in the center. And it's gonna make a big mess. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get some hot glue, or whatever glue you wanna use. And we're just gonna put it on right there. And then, voila. And then this piece right here, you won't even see. But this is just to show you that, I mean, it's okay if you make mistakes, you can always fix your mistakes. All right, so here's the final result of the mask stand. Uh, one tip that I've heard is that you put some plastic over the styrofoam, just like that. Your masks that you get, they do come with the plastic. So we're gonna put some of the plastic over there and then you put your latex mask over. It probably would look better if we had like, you know, the black plastic, like a black plastic bag. But uh, yeah, it's clear so you don't see it with the eyes. There you go, there's your, your mask stand, your easy custom DIY mask stand. With the Trick or Treat Studios haunted mask from Goosebumps. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Dark Dimensions Haunted House.